here in my new accommodations and I just traveled from Versailles here to Paris back into really the city and um, I was wearing my, my hat representing but also like falling asleep on the metro with one giant suitcase and an additional smaller one because I am now house sitting. This apartment is one of those places where you see pictures of and you're like, is that real? Celia, you told me your dog is cuddly. You weren't kidding. Oh, he's in the sun. How you liking that parallelogram? Show it, oh yes, give him some grunts. Make your piggy noises. <laughs> Today is one of those travel days where I need to charge my batteries, literally and figuratively. <laughs> now it's time to learn some grammar. Oh, I get so crazy when I'm by myself. <laughs> I'm going to start working with a French teacher. <laughs> And it's probably the thing I'm so excited about. I've been practicing French for a while, but I haven't had a proper lesson since I was 20 years old, I'm pretty sure. So I've been making mistakes left and right and front and back. I am really excited to get my errors corrected, and I am not going to see her for a couple days. So I bought this book. It's a book that I had in high school, and I just bought it again. Because you know why? You know why I had to buy it again? Because when I read Marie Kondo's book, I got rid of like all my French books. I think I'd never study French again. Today when I was walking the dog, someone told me I have really good English. I'm not sure how to take that. <laughs> I went to bed last night with plans and dreams to wake up early and do responsible human things like work out and shower. But then I decided not to and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. I think, ladies, it's very important to take that first day at least of your cycle to relax. I get it, I get you, Ariel. I gotta push the button. I gotta push the button. Okay. okay, there we go. Let's go. No. Come on. Uh, Cammy's got the ritual of making love to this rug after his walk. Okay. I'm sure you're a very good lover. Cammy. You're such a bulldog. I'm trying to finish up something for the podcast so I can post it today. And little Mr. Camembert is snoring away in the corner. He just stuffs himself in the corner. I have no idea if the mic can pick this up. Are you okay? You just having a dream? The people I'm house sitting for left me some goodies and I'm embarrassed to say they also left me chocolate that I've already pretty much finished. So let's pretend it's right here. Grammar book, eraser. French dictionary, not using Google Translate because it actually makes you work harder and learn more. Cammy, you ready to pee again? It's time to go outside to get your pee pee on. You're the only person I can talk to right now. Just tell her that to deal with my craziness, my crazy songs. As I told you earlier, this is Cammy. His full name is Camembert, which is a very French cheese. And you might be like, Hannah, whoa, that's not vegan. Hold up, hang on. But actually, did you know it is possible to make vegan cheese? And on Easter, my mother and I made vegan Camembert cheese. Oh, I 
just want to love you. I've been getting asked a lot about how I've been finding my host, such as Cami. Let me explain. The internet is truly an amazing thing. I put out a video and a couple posts on Instagram about how I'm going to France for the summer, and I already had apartments lined up for June and July with my friend Katie, because that's when she's joining me. But then I was bombarded with these amazing and delightful messages from you guys, people like you who live in France or in the surrounding area who were offering to put me up for a couple nights or even a full week or something like that and I was just overwhelmed by the generosity and so that's when I decided to extend my stay and stay during the month of May without Katie and kind of hopping around and visiting the people who were so kind to offer their home to me. In this instance, Cami wasn't the one to email me, it was actually his mother, Celia, and Celia needed someone to watch their place and and watch Cammy and be his his temporary mom while they went on vacation and that's what I'm doing here I'm having a problem because I'm really falling in love with this dog like <laughs> look how snuggly he is I also just have a lot of friends overseas because I am an English teacher I used to teach in ESL programs with international students and by the end of the semester end of the term a lot of my students would tell me hey if you're ever in Brazil hey if you're ever in Switzerland if you're ever in France or Colombia come over like I'd love to have you now I'm able to see some of my past students I saw a couple of my past students last night but they're not students anymore they're more like friends and for those of you who want to do something sort of like this just making contacts and staying with people and being hosted and then hosting in return there are so many websites that you can use to connect with people the thing that I think is the difference between you know me finding someone on couch surfer or something like that is that the people who are hosting me and the people who found me they already kind of like know my life because I have a YouTube channel etc and they know hey we're totally gonna get along we have a lot of common interests I know her um, her personality and my personality are gonna click but that's not to say that you can't try it out I mean Cammy and I didn't know that we would click he doesn't really watch my videos that often but we totally get along and sometimes it is serendipitous like that and the reality is if you find someone online who's willing to host foreigners they're likely going to be an open-minded person who is willing to you know teach you their language and talk and have long dinners together and show you their town because they're proud of their city speaking of which I am now going to a picnic to meet some of you guys I'm gonna have more picnics here in France maybe in different parts of France, but mostly I'm gonna be in Paris, so we'll probably just do another one. I'll announce them when I have more dates. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna be late because I'm just doing a photo shoot with Candy. Let's take you out one more time to make sure you're nice and comfy. I just got back from the picnic at Parc Montsouris in wow I'm just so overwhelmed there was like over 40 people there and not just 40 people but 40 really cool sweet intelligent kind down-to-earth hilarious vivacious people vegan or trying to be vegan or vegetarian and um, just trying to be a huge positive impact and good light in the in the world um, especially in this country France and I just want to say thank you to all of the cool amazing vivacious people that I met at the park today. I'm currently exhausted <laughs> because um, just you know talking with a lot of people and I wish I could have stayed longer but obviously you know I have to take care of Cami. So now I'm in Paris I'm really here and really living I'm not just jetting back and forth and traveling and it feels really good to experience the city for anyone who lives here in Paris you have a beautiful city I really hope you don't take it for granted I know it's cliche but Paris oh MG you're so pretty and the people here even more amazing